Ooh, sorry. Again, I'm sure a lot of the smart money traders will be um, already know about this, but maybe there are some of you who don't. So let's ooh, let's cover what it is. So basically, order flow is present in a trending market with basically consecutive mitigations. If we go all the way back, that would be your supply and demand combined with imbalance mitigations to get those refined you know, refined mitigations. So it's just small pullbacks to grab liquidity and allow order to flow in both directions. Very easy to identify, and it's also very good for trapping people in the long term. We'll expand on that in a little bit. And very important also about this, again, we look for our confirmations first, and only then if our cycles are completed later on, only then we're looking into this order flow mitigation. But of course, we have to explain you first what this technically is. And again, as Cam explained very well, it's just getting into the right direction, secondarily after each other, right? Again, but only after our cycle will be completed later on. And this, again, just a very basic understanding of, yes, there is something that's called order flow. And of course, you can get after these pushes are done or these, these traps are done. Then, of course, you can add into positions or maybe you missed an entry. It will give another opportunity of this order flow, right? Yeah. So here's what it looks like on. So this is like medium time frame, and then this is like our lower time frame. So you can use medium time frame analysis to confirm and refine analysis. Order flow on the higher time frame allows you to trade in between. In to trade the sort of in between bit a bit easier and more freely, and you want clean, strong movements to clearly identify entry opportunities. So I think there's no better way for us to go over it than to just show some examples. Yeah, but obviously multiple time from approach, right? Again, if this is the five minute and you know, okay, here's my imbalance, here's my some sort of uh, demand candles in here, right? Of course, you go back a time from lower, use multiple time from analysis, and then again, see, okay, my imbalance was from here to here. Perfect. This is my demand candle taps into here then again okay it could make sense to give you some sort of break of structures again same thing and then again but this is after again we have the significant play in here which we'll dig into later and then of course the trading into the right direction okay then again can make sense yeah so here is our example as we can see we've got our m1 order flow creating internal lows and leads to a quote unquote main BOS. But as you can see, um, well actually you can't see, but what this would be is this would be like the inducement and we're now trading away from that. And this is where probably cycle complete as well. And we're now using our order flow to trade away from that. We don't just pick random order flow. So you wouldn't just pick like, oh yeah, we're going to trade this order flow. No, it has to be in line with our concepts first and then it comes into play. So this is what it looks like on the M5. This is the M1 view and then this is the M5 view and this is our like um, refined zone to the left that we shown. So it started off as an M15 POI. This is what it looked like on M5 and then this is what it looked like on M1. As you can see, we did an inducement up until that point, mitigated, cycle complete. Don't want to go into too much detail because we haven't we haven't taught that yet, but just for what's to come. And then once you've had all of these confluences, likely daily cycle as well, you can then look for your M1 order flow. We'd also have confluences within this as well. So it's not just you just pick some random order flow and go, okay, I'm going to trade this. That's not what we do, but we do obviously make use of it the same way that we do make use of mitigations and stuff like this as well. It's just, we don't use it on its own. Okay. So next we've got here. So here you can see this is M1 again. You can see clean, you know, push, pullback, push, pullback, push, pullback. These are our mitigations. This is what it looks like on M5. So also you can see that we're trading towards a quote unquote main BOS. 
that this is more likely a liquidity point that we're going to be trading towards. So again, you wouldn't take this just based on the order flow. You'd have like a cycle complete down here. It maybe induces something to the left or maybe it induces something to the left or even comes in and mitigates some higher time frame POI that also has our confluences. And like I said, I don't want to get too far ahead, but multiple confluences here that allows you to trade this order flow. You don't just pick random order flow and trade it. So yeah, that's another example. This one, again, we had a POI to the left. And then what you can see is we channeled down, mitigated here. We look for our break of structure after our cycle has been complete here. So break of structure into again, mitigation, 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 all of our order flow mitigations. But again, we're not just trading them blindly. That's the important thing. Next. So here you can see we channeled up, gave our inducement into our higher time frame mitigation with cycle complete here. And now again, you can look to trade your order flow. Obviously, this is the ideal entry with a break of relevant market structure after your inducement high. You can now take this mitigation, which is also an order flow mitigation. So this would probably also give some other confluences that we'll get into at a later point. Again, or this is just an example of order flow, just so that you understand what it looks like. This is what it looks like on M5. This is what it looks like on M1. I think the rest are just examples of order flow. So here again, we leave our imbalance. We come up, we fill that. We leave our imbalance, we fill it. We leave our imbalance, we fill it. We leave our imbalance and we fill it. So for those of you who haven't traded um, order flow or are not aware of what it is, it's, it's basically this. It's just these consecutive mitigations. So push, pullback, push, pullback. It's just these consecutive mitigations in one direction. That's very simply what order flow is. Again, here's some more examples as you can see. But I think we all are understanding that now.